welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite smoothies and how to make them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. So my first recipe calls for a full cucumber, an orange, and some parsley. So in my description bar below, I will be leaving all of the benefits of all of the fruits and vegetables that I use in this video. So make sure to check it out if you want to learn more about these items. I'm gonna be using some frozen pineapples that I store in my freezer that I cut when they are fresh and just store to use for later purposes. So now I'm going to be squeezing my orange juice into my well I'm gonna be squeezing my oranges into my blender to make orange juice so this is basically what it's gonna look like I am going to be squeezing both just to give me more juice um, and more concentration in that you don't have to use fresh oranges, but I prefer to use it. Um, if you are to buy store-bought, just make sure there's no high fructose corn syrup in it and make sure there's not a high excessive amount of sugar in it. So now I'm just gonna throw everything in my blender, as you can see. So I'm going to be adding half a cup of ginger. Please take note that ginger is very strong, so make sure that you are pouring it and then trying it and pouring it and trying it as you go. So now we're just gonna blend. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> so now that I see that it has this creamy form, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare to pour my smoothie for me and my husband. This is actually one of his favorite smoothies that he really enjoys. And after this video, he actually wanted me to teach him how to make it so he could make it himself. So I guess this smoothie is definitely a success in the books because clearly my husband is crazy about this one. So now for this next smoothie, it's gonna call for some pineapple. So I'm just gonna cut a fresh pineapple up and I'm going to also store some in the freezer as well. Um, typically what I will do is that I will have a stash in my freezer, but I'll first start by cutting up the pineapple and um, storing them in these little baggies um, that kind of help, you know, keep them organized and keep them accessible to me. So this is where I put my fruit stash and then I will get back to the recipe. So now I'm going to be using some kale some bananas that are frozen. And then I'm gonna be using an avocado. So I'm just going to use half of this avocado for the sake of this video. And then um, I'll store the rest of it in the fridge. up some of my kale just so it's not too chunky in the blender but regardless it, it all blends pretty well once it gets in there after this I'm gonna be adding some flaxseed meal which is super good guys I really like flaxseed I'm gonna be adding some lemon juice from lemon I'm gonna be adding some fresh basil which is so yummy and some ginger juice and now I'm gonna throw everything in So I'm gonna be adding a tablespoon of flaxseed to this breakfast smoothie to fill me up. And then I'm gonna be adding a tablespoon of ginger and probably more to be honest, because I absolutely love ginger. So now I'm just gonna blend all of this up. And I usually do leave it to figure out how to blend before I add like any extra water or any extra juices because I do find that once I leave it, it eventually starts to blend and everything just kind of goes well. But if it absolutely will not blend and start meshing up into a thick texture, you can always, um, you can always add more water or juice of any kind or yogurt or milk, just whatever you feel like doing. <laughs> So now I notice that this is not enough for me and my husband, so I'm just gonna add some ice, just 
just to give it more of a crushed texture and I'm going to blend it on high to kind of just make it all blend together well. So now I'm going to prepare for pouring and as you can see this blender comes with a nice pop open lid so it's super convenient. I'm just going to pour a cup for my husband and I to go with our breakfast. Now for this smoothie I'm going to be using one full cucumber, some ginger juice, some mango, some spinach, and also some lemon. I'm going to go ahead and start by pouring my ginger juice, throwing in my cucumber, throwing in my mangoes, throwing in my spinach, and just grabbing handfuls of spinach here. No accurate or perfect proportion, just grabbing a handful. And then squeezing in some lemon juice. And you don't need a lot of lemon juice here, just a squeeze or two will do. I'm going to let that blend, and it's going to kind of create this consistency. And then I'm gonna prepare a cup for myself since my husband is not home. And I am going to pour. So I'm gonna wrap up by giving my smoothie a photo shoot for the gram. I typically do post my smoothies on Instagram. So make sure you're following me to keep up with that. Enjoyed the few smoothies that I made and of course you don't have to add all the fruits that I added or the same amount of content or just vegetables or fruits that I added you can definitely taste it as you go but I just want to kind of emphasize that these combinations are yummy they're healthy and they're very filling of course I always opt to add in honey or lemon or lime if I feel like I want a lifter in my smoothie. Whether I want it to be sweeter or be more tart, that's just based on your taste buds. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you for kicking with me in my kitchen, y'all. This video was a little tough to make because it's a little out of my scope when it comes to um, just my videos on my channel. So, so glad you guys were able to hang with me while I made these videos. If you do end up making any of these recipes, please tag me because I would love to know how it tasted, how it went. If you have any questions for me at all, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to reply if I have an answer for you or just respond if you are leaving just feedback about this video. Ooh. And one last thing, if you are interested in where I got this hair from, I got it from Clay Hair and I will leave all the deets in my description bar below so make sure you check it out. And I'm wrapping it up right now, I promise. I'm thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time in my next video. Bye! Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that is it.